Hello guys, high craft mining has been trending in popularity recently and many people are wondering if they should be buying uh, more selling what they have or simply standing on the side and wait for a better timing and as the market is still very volatile in the moment uh, we should always be mindful about which stock to pick and what would be the exposure and the mining of uh, of our position over the past few days the price auction of hymc has brought the stock to two dollar 26 cents before stabilizing around two dollar the short term price trend of high craft mining has been bullish because recently the market showed a lot of interest to the potential for the stock uh, that that reached new height and uh, that interest has managed to stay and to hold its ground against the possible mouse sell offs from existing shareholder before the take off i think that the stock is going to have have uh, even even greater surges in the future as the volume of hymc remain strong and the stock seems to be regrouping for more momentum in the week uh, in the weeks uh, to come when we look at the long term price trend of high craft mining it has been bullish as well the stock has been making new high left uh, highs to left and right and there is no reason currently to believe that uh, it should not uh, continue this momentum as we go forward in a general environment with significant selling pressure i think that hymc he can bring some much more needed change of uh, ambience and momentum in our portfolio now let's talk uh, let's uh, take a look uh, at the technical of the technicals of the stock the trending that the trading volume of aircraft mining has recently been 16 million shares versus an an average volume of 89 shares over the previous to a week period its price fluctuated between 28 cents and four dollar 37 cents the market cap of Highcraft Mining is currently at $429 million compared to an enterprise value of $196 million. The difference between a market cap and, and the enterprise value is the premium or discount the financial market is willing to allocate uh, to the company based on, on its current fundamentals, leverage and, and assets composition. The enterprise's uh, value is the combined value of the company assets minus debt. If the company has a line of debt or a negative image among the market participants, the assets value may be impaired with that uh, being said at the end of the day. It remains an estimation of the market every time it publishes its financial statements. So it's less reactive than the market cap and uh, and often more uh, lenient for many other companies. One key element to note regarding the, the enterprise value is that for many growth type companies, one of the most significant assets uh, they, uh, they own is the, com is, is the goodwill is an expectation of the market that a company can generate more profit or grow faster because it, it might have a better management team, a stronger brand recognition, recognition and a bigger online following it is what make the company unique compared to its competitors. In other words, goodwill is not a tangible assets that company may use it is often however the reason why some companies are perceived to be a trading at a discount because the market count is lower than the enterprise uh, enterprise value and uh, the enterprise value is less reactive than the market cap in volatile situation if the company goes the liquidation the good will be gone and the bondholder and the shareholders will be left sharing amongst each other whatever that is not which is uh, which is far less compared to the number on the balance sheet when we compare to the 
uh, when we compared the current price uh, price to its historical price fluctuation fluctuation the stock is 81% higher than the one month low 608% higher than the 12 week low and 608% higher than the 52 week low on the option market which often give uh, gives uh, us a hint about the market sentiment uh, on on where the mark on where the stock price is likely going to go next the implied volatility is 81% versus a historical volatility of 608% the put call volume ratio is currently at 0.33 it is normal for many stocks to have a higher production volume than what they truly deserve as many institutional investors and uh, systematically has their loan position by buying put option the most recent volume of option treated has been uh, 20000 contracts a day compared to 30 day average of 43 in terms of open interest the most recent volume of uh, of of open interest has a spend uh, around 3 lakh 3000 contract versus uh, the 30 day average of 19 uh, 1 lakh 92000 contracts in terms of its shareholder structure and institutional shareholder owns about 18 percent of current float the biggest shareholders include uh, nomura uh, white box and vanguards it's uh, relevant uh, to understand the shareholder composition of a company asks this help us to determine if the stock is a long-term investment or should be simply viewed as a trade opportunity if the stock is mainly held by retail traders this is a sign that the stock lots the depth justified long-term trust from shareholder typically the consensus is that uh, is that there should be at least 25 to 30 percent of institutional participation for the stock to be perceived uh, as a sound investment and not just a short-term trade there is a, obviously a lot of expectations to this as um, as many great companies are also mostly held by retail investor but that tends to be uh, to be the expectation and and not the rule let's Let's also take a look at the short invest, uh, interest present in this stock which is the amount of position aiming to profit if the share price falls lower sometime when there are significant short interest in the in the total volume. So there is a sign that something more organized may be going on like uh, what has been going on with a Tarian game stop uh, uh, HYMC and so on. I would recommend it a commit between 1 to 3 percent of your portfolio in the HYMC and I would also recommend to split the allocation in the patches of 20, 10 to 20 percent at a time so that you may be you may be purchase more afterwards if it if it portrayed us now given the current market environment I believe that the equity market is in a vast phase of correction we are now seeing a new phenomenon with a short squeeze involving a group of retail trader propping the stock price up forcing short is short sellers to recover their position sometimes the attempt will not succeed but sometimes they end up in a very spectacular success uh, something else uh, to consider is the, is that is a treat tag stock with care the start uh, start asks the question uh, when the price of a security uh, skyrockets without real fundamentals it doesn't mean that you should not should not be touching it with a 10 foot pole but uh, it does not mean that there should be a difference between the decision of long term holding and short term either way a rule of thumb is that uh, each position should be structured in a way so so that their individual performance will never affect the portfolio stability thank you for watching my video